Margaret Chaffee, young, beautiful, and very rich. The beginning of a normal, carefree day in the life of a socialite, with the normal, everyday problems that confront them. Overslept, late for cocktails, perhaps the Cadillac won't start. Just another average afternoon. Bad Margaret, the Cadillac has not failed you. Ride swiftly. You have a very special appointment this day, an appointment that may very well change your life or end it. For these three people, this day means the beginning of a job, a job so carefully planned for so many weeks. There's the gate, Margaret. Beyond it lies the most fantastic experience of your life. The wheels have started. The carefully laid plans have been put into operation. No use to struggle, Margaret. Being kidnapped could be turned almost normal for a wealthy socialite. And you are being kidnapped. In fact, you're all being taken to a rendezvous with fate. High in the San Gabriel Mountains, the stage has already been set. No turning back now. laid plans will go astray this day. Funny, an obviously abandoned convertible. The key's still in the car. An anonymous telephone call brought you here. Now what? Better make a routine check. Registration, Margaret Chafee. Could be trouble, couldn't it? As I said, better make a routine check. Night. And here, surrounded by the peace and loneliness of his retreat in the mountains, is the ever-present innocent bystander and his canine friend. Come on, Egan. Hey, that north wind's coming up, boy. We better get back to the cabin. Yeah. Say, did you see that, Egan? That meteor landed somewhere nearby. Strange, never seen a color like that before. Hmm. Well, come on, we're going back to the cabin. Let's go. The work of a geologist can now be put aside and relaxation is in order. Our final character, our visitor from beyond the imagination, evil unto evil.
there is our stage, our characters, unrelated, as apart from one another as the stars from the earth. But fate has already dropped its mysterious net, and you are trapped. All of you are trapped. And now to blend the lives of our socialite, our kidnappers, our geologists, and to shatter their earthly plans with universal cunning. Egan, that meteor sure puzzles me. Yeah, puzzles you too, huh? Well, we'll have to go down the desert tomorrow. Maybe if we have any luck at all, we can find out where it landed. Probably there won't be much left to it. We ought to be able to find a couple of clues as to the metals it was composed of. Sure had an odd color, that I know. <laughs> <laughs> 